Can you give me a rundown of the, the different hominins that you were talking about in the story? Yes. So these fossil sites are in a little area called what we're calling today the Cradle of Humankind. Mm -hmm. Okay, It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is roughly the size of the District of Columbia or, you know, the Principality of Andorra, <laughs> whatever's most familiar to you. <laughs> yeah. But the actual cave sites I went to are even closer. At Crom Dry and Drimelin at another site called Swart Crons, researchers have found two different genera, different genus. We're not even mm -hmm. talking different species. It's bigger than that. Early Homo, which is our genus, mm -hmm. and also Paranthropus, which is this, it means beside man, Paranthropus okay. in Latin. They didn't really look like us. As other researchers have said, you wouldn't really necessarily invite them to dinner. They're going to be hairy, <laughs> small-brained, with brains not much bigger than an ape's. Paranthropus is more robust. The first thing you would have noticed about it is this huge head, which seems disproportionate to its small body. Early Homo, still with a brain about a third bigger than an ape's, not huge at this point, probably still quite small as well. Mm -hmm. And then you also have lingering, we think Australopithecus. Now, if you've heard of Lucy, mm -hmm. her genus was Australopithecus. She lived about 3.1 million years ago in Ethiopia. There okay. is another type of Australopithecus in South Africa that starts to appear at least 3 million years ago. So we've got these different forms, very different kinds of hominins, all living in an incredibly small area. 